Okay, good morning, everybody. I want to uh, thank you for coming out to the uh, Daiwa 2014 press conference. My name is Kurt Arakawa. I'm the marketing manager for Daiwa. Uh, back in uh, March of 2013, we started uh, Project T. And we started uh, with the Hatula Reel, and we made a whole series of videos about this product. And uh, we launched them, and we played them before I cast. We're going to have Project T again this year. What we're going to do with our new new uh, big customer for Brazilian, which these guys are all going to talk about. And we'll, we'll also, we had actually a, a video release on Monday. So if you haven't seen it, it's, uh, it's on our website, www.daiwa.com. And it's also on our Facebook page, Daiwa Corporation. So we'll have one every couple of weeks until the actual product in the market. So stay tuned for those. Um, first, I just want to introduce my whole team all at once. I'll mention this guy. Then I'm going to let them talk about the product. First guy up, Fisherman Monroe. Fisherman Monroe is one of the hardest working uh, fishermen on and off the water. Um, he is what I call a full-time fisherman. He fishes the FLW Tour. He's won a couple tournaments on the Tour. He's gone to the champion uh, championship in the Blue Cup. He's fishing Bass Mountain Elite, Bass Mountain Elite Circuit. He's fishing Major League Fishing. He does it all. So, Fisherman Monroe is you guys know him. Uh, Brent Miller. Brent is um, one of our newest members to the team. Came on board in January. Uh, I feel very fortunate to have a guy like Brent. He's a very expensive, experienced fisherman. He, yeah, that too, no. <laughs> um, he is one of the top guys in the upper circuit. Um, currently fish in three in the year standing, and uh, he's won the championship. And he's also one of the top men. Uh, Yusuke Mizaki is one of our longest members of the team. Uh, I think we talked about maybe 18 years he's been on our team. This is Bashmaster of the Meat Circuit as well. And he's done very well, gone to the classic a couple times on some tournaments. Akira Mori, he uh, also is fishing the Elite Circuit. Uh, he actually won the uh, Bassmasters Classic in, I believe it's 2004, is that right? 2004. Um, and then we have Andy Montgomery next to him. Andy Montgomery is also a Bassmaster fisherman. So he used to fish the FW Tour. And this year he's actually fishing the Tour as well, fishing two circuits. And he's also fishing Major League Fishing. And last but not least, we have Randy Howe our 2014 Bassmaster Classic winner. So I'm sure you all know Randy. Without with all that said, I'm gonna let uh, Ish, these guys talk about the product. Go Ish. How you guys doing? Wow, wow. Um, First of all, you know, I'd say I've been fishing in Iowa pretty much my whole entire life. And, you know, we've always been the innovator of a lot of different things. We were the first ones with the long cast school. First one with the infinite anti-reverse. So we call the old knuckle buster so you don't get the knuckle busting back, but, you know, Brazilian has been my namesake for fishing frogs and punching mats, and, that, and that's what I've been doing for the last few years and, and winning a lot of money doing it. I didn't think that they can improve Brazilian. Brazilian type R to me was the best reel out there. It was the Ferrari, the Lamborghini. It was the most upscale reel that you could get to. Then all of a sudden, they created our new Zillion. Our new Zillion is lighter. It has a bigger handle. It's, it's, it's amazing. 13 pounds of drag with this reel. We have a lighter spool that it comes with. And the great part about Brazilians last year, um, whereas the Type R actually released from the pinion gear, so you were floating on two ball bearings. And as of right now, Dial is the only one that I know of that the spool rotates on two ball bearings. So when I first got this reel, I threw this reel, I threw it further than any reel I ever have before. I fished it over the course of three days, and in three days I had what we call a prof one professional overwind, which most people know as backlash. I had one, and that was because of my mistake. So this reel being set at zero, I've got both magnets turned all the way down. I can cast this thing with almost in not having any backlashes at all because of that pre-floating spool. Plus, I can cast further than any reel out there. I will take the challenge right now. Any manufacturer that wants to be up there, we're going to make the cast. I think I can cast further than anybody else because I believe Daiwa makes the best product. 90 millimeter handle is going to help me for when I'm frog fishing and having that big handle for torquing on those fish when I'm punching mats, it's the way to go. I mean, this thing is super duper strong. Um, 
and there's nothing else to say about it. I'm just ready to go fishing with it. Hey everyone, I'm Brent Ayler, and uh, I'm gonna kind of touch a little bit on what this, you know, talked about with the, the free floating spool and the, uh, uh, you know, sitting on the ball bearings like that. The key with, with this reel is, is less resistance, and, and it starts with that free floating spool, and it also goes with a T-wing system. So less resistance is gonna help you cast farther. Uh, having that free floating spool, the T-wing system, the T-wing system is the level one on the reel where when you click the thumb bar, it opens up so you have a wider, uh, a, a wider, uh, what would you call it, a spool, I mean, it's just a, a wider uh, opening, so the line guide, so it has a, a wider line guide. So when you hit that bar and it opens up, that line doesn't have to funnel through a very small opening. Now it's a wider opening, so it has less resistance, and therefore you can cast farther. So the free floating spool, the teaming system, less resistance, so it's farther cast. So that's that's what's new with the, uh, the New Zealand this year. I am the, my name is Yusuke Miyazaki, I'm the, I'm the Bassmaster 80 Pro. And I think you know, these two guys you know, already say the most of the pearl. I tell about uh, aluminum frame and Zion, uh, Zion side plate things. The deal is, you know, people think to, most of people think into the sensitivity for the law. But, but also so important is that the deal got, you know, aluminum frame inside, the deal doesn't Feel really, you know, uh, sorry. So then, you know, the solid, you know, the aluminum frame made us to the really sensitivity things. Also, Zion side plate, you know, makes a little bit lighter than Tatura Leo. So the sensitivity is so important. This kind of Leo. I give the tag. Well, uh, my name is Takahiro Mori. Uh, most of the guys already talked about uh, about Leo. I, uh, I, I just want to say one thing on this. This T-wing system, I can make another 15, 20 percent cast farther, especially fishing in open water for uh, like a top water, any deep diving crankbait, anything you know you need uh, cast farther, and uh, I, I love it. Uh, this is uh, things that really help me in my fishing to catch more fish. That's that's you know one thing that really helps. Yeah, um, the, you know the, I'm Andy Montgomery, League Series Pro, FLW Pro. Um, these guys touched on a lot of things, the Zion side plate, the T-wing system, the free floating spool. We just kind of incorporate, incorporated everything Daiwa has into one reel. Um, you know, the Tula kind of took the market by storm with the T-wing system. I absolutely love the Tula. It got better, it got lighter, it got a little bit more durable. And, um, you know, the only thing that I hadn't heard anybody touch on is the micro-click adjustment on the side. That's a little bit different than the Tula. That really allows you to dial in, you know, if you're using a big lure, you can tighten it up a little bit, a little lower if you're skipping docks or whatever. You can really adjust this reel perfect to, uh, you know, to whatever you want to do and, and, and make the perfect cast every time. Well, thank you guys for coming out today. All my buddies here have summed it all up, as you know. The main thing I can tell you about, I think this will show, you know, the whole industry like last year, that Daiwa is committed to excellence in the price point that the U.S. market is, is, is asking for now. You know, that's what they stepped up to the plate, you know, last year with the, with the whole Project T and the Tatula stuff. And, and they made really, really amazing products for a low cost. And they, and, and they surprised all of us as pros. You know, we, we love Stees and we use Stees and that's the, the top of the line of everything. And we, we found all of ourselves using the Tatula more than we were in the Steve's, and, it, and it's amazing for $150, $200 price point products that we were using them and, re, and depending on them in our, you know, top level events. In the Bassmaster Classic, I used, you know, the Zillion, I mean, some of my old Zillion stuff, and I used some Steve's stuff, but all the stuff that I caught all my fish on the crankbait on those last two days were all on the seven foot medium light uh, Tatula bait cast rod and on the, the 6.3 retrieve uh, Type R reel. And so that stuff, it's proven itself, and now the Zillion, they took the Zillion and just stepped it up a notch, adding a few extra features to it, a few little tweaks and the things to just make it even better. And so you know the, the commitment to excellence is there. You know, the dealer network, everybody's selling the products really well this year, and it's because the dial was stepped up to the plate, like I said, for the U.S. market. So I think we got some real impressive stuff to come, the new uh, zillion reels along with the new zillion rods. The new rods we haven't really talked about much yet, but the zillion rod, lot, rod line is going to be a very, very model specific rod line with a lot of actions. All of us have our favorites that we've gotten them to make, you know, from the from the big 
Do I? Pro design, yeah, pro design, yeah, yeah. I need to give the mic back down here to Ishley and talk about the rods. <laughs> but uh, it, he's got a good crankbait rod and a frog rod, and we've all got specialty rods that are coming out. So just watch for the zillion name. The zillion name is tried and true, it's been around forever with Iowa, and uh, we just stepped it up another notch for this new 2014 15 generation. So with that, appreciate you guys coming. I'll, uh, I'll turn it back over here for maybe some question and answer. Anybody got any questions right now while I've got the mic? Good questions. Not everybody at once. Take just one at a time. <laughs> retail, retail on this reel. This is going to be a two, mostly a two ninety nine ninety five retail reel. It comes in a five point five retrieve, a six point three retrieve, and a seven point three retrieve. All right, I'm going to turn it over to Angel. Let's talk about a little bit of rod stuff. Before I get to the rod stuff, um, one last thing that I did want to talk about with the T-Wing system is that if you guys can see the opening there, what it's going to do is it's going to reduce line friction. And when you reduce line friction, you're reducing that line from getting heated up, you're reducing your braid from the color coming off your braid, so your line is going to last longer. So the T-Wing system is also allowing you to use your line a whole lot longer without having the wear and tear on it. So that's another great part about the tattoo, I mean the zillion uh, reel along with the Tatula. You know, the Tatula I thought was probably the most amazing and new innovative reel to come out. This thing is, is amazing as well and I, I'm super excited to go fish with it next year. But one thing that we've done this year is, the kind of Randy pointed on, was the uh, pro design rods. The new Zillion line is designed by all of his pros. And I mean, we're taking hours and hours and days and days uh, working with the designers to get these rods right for the U.S. market. You know, we're going to have a frog rod that is what I believe the best frog rod on the market. You know, it's not going to be necessarily at the price point of the Stees, but it's going to have a lot of feel and it's going to have the same action that, on it. You know, the eight foot uh, flipping stick, which is going to be very similar to the punch rods that I use. Um, I know we're creating a seven to one uh, medium light that Randy loves. You know, we've got a crankbait rod coming out, you know, that Brent Erler feels is one of the best crankbait rods out there. You know, same with Yuski and, and Tok, you know. We've always been a big fan of the uh, glass rods uh, when we're throwing a lot of reaction baits. And so we're creating that line in the tattoo line to come out as well. So this year coming out, um, Iowa, we're going to have the best rods for the U.S. market. We're going to have something for everybody out there to fish with at a price point that everybody can afford. You know, getting the highest quality products at a price point that everybody can afford, I feel, is the uh, best way to go. Now, is there any questions? The question is, is there going to be glass rods or composite? We're going to have some cranking glass rods in the Tatula line coming out. Um, I believe we are in a seven foot two and we're working on a big deep crankbait rod, uh, not necessarily knowing the length just yet because we want to make sure that it's exact. It, so in the tattoo line. And so right now it's in the tattoo line. We're, we're talking about it in the zillion line as well, but you know, we're wanting to make sure that we have something that everybody can afford. You know, when you start getting into glass rods, it, 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 it's tricky because you have a lot of weight with the glass rod that you don't have with the graphite rod. And so Daiwa wants to make the best product. So they're going to try to figure out how to lighten up those rods so that people can go out there and not have a lot of fatigue when they're out there fishing. So we're going to make something, like I said, for everybody that's out there. So, but yes, there will be a glass line. There will be a uh, graphite line as well. Any other questions? Now, the only question is that there are no questions. Pretty much covered anything. Guys, we're going to be all here. All the pros are going to be here for a little while. So if you do have any individual questions for us, you know, I'm going to hit up Randy about borrowing some cash because he won the Classic. And I figure Brent can loan me some too because he's won several tournaments this year. So um, we'll be here. Thanks you guys for coming out. Kurt, any more? Yeah, thank you again for everyone for coming out. Uh, these guys will be hanging around. You want to take some pictures, photos, or even some uh, video coming in. Uh, thanks again, everybody, for coming out. Appreciate it. And look forward to our videos.